I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson. This is the tropical forecast just for YouTube. Glad you found us here and we're here every day a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time giving you the latest on what's happening out there. Sometimes it might be a little longer of a, of a stream than others, depending on what's actually going on. But we're always going to be here, always kind of keeping you updated and you can always find out more information on tropics in general. If you want to go to Fox 26 Houston.com uh, and you can go to the weather tab and find more information. So we've had a quite a bit of a a little bit of a stretch here of some quiet weather across the Atlantic Basin. And for the most part, we're still looking at that right now, but things look to be changing in, I don't know, let's say three to four days. We're not going to try to pinpoint it down to the hour necessarily, but at least the next couple of days still look relatively quiet. And that's going to especially be true for the Gulf of Mexico. If you happen to be in the Fox 26 viewing area, Southeast Texas, you know how hot and quiet our weather is because of that high pressure that's more or less centered over uh, the southern portions of Texas uh, that expands out into the uh, the Gulf of Mexico as well and kind of keeps things very quiet. You know, it's not even sort of rain that's happening uh, in any sort of organized form whatsoever. So short of looking at what's happening across uh, the Bahamas and over stretching across to the eastern portions of the Gulf, there is definitely a little bit of a, a line of showers and storms with an old boundary that's kind of laying around not having any sort of tropical characteristics to it, but overall uh, would be just sort of some showers and storms that are happening. But out in the Atlantic, this is what we're talking about. And if you've been checking in with us, you're aware of these showers and storms have, that have been off of the African coast, and we were watching them, expecting them to get out over the waters in the Atlantic and then potentially develop into something. And that's definitely what we're looking at right now. And from the National Hurricane Center, uh, the latest update saying that over the next couple of days. Uh, not really looking for a whole lot to happen. 20% uh, chance that might develop into something tropical. But when you look at the bigger picture, a longer term situation, certainly looks like this could develop uh, into a tropical depression or possibly even a tropical storm. We're looking at about a 60% chance over the next that should say seven days. So we're looking at over the next seven days. Uh, we're expecting that to possibly develop uh, with a 60% chance with this uh, organization here of these showers. So right now what we're basically seeing is that coming in off of the African coast and moving out into the coast and into the Atlantic, we're seeing these showers and thunderstorms. And kind of the general idea is as this continues to move to the west, eventually gets into this orange shaded area here where it's very favorable that it would develop, but the conditions are much more uh, inducive that we would allow that. So the waters are warmer and there's not that upper level wind shear that would cause problems and that rotation can start to form at the surface a little bit. And then we kind of end up with something that's tropical when the wind speeds start reaching those thresholds uh, that we're looking for. So that's kind of the bigger picture on what we're looking at overall. I do just kind of want to point out a couple of other things uh, as we sort of look at the situation. I talked about the temperatures. They are very warm uh, for this time of the year. Uh, really almost any time of the year when we're looking at 84, 85, 83. These are all temperatures that would be all that's needed uh, to totally help kind of build that strength. It's always kind of traditionally referred to that as fuel uh, for a fire that could be happening there uh, within that storm, building those uh, strength and helping it uh, become organized uh, much quicker. And then in the upper levels of the atmosphere, we kind of look at how those winds are going. And for the most part, fairly light right now. So we've got high pressure over the Atlantic in the upper levels of the atmosphere. I've also got the Saharan dust kind of thrown on here as well just a little bit. So you can see that there is sort of that lighter amounts of dust, these brighter spots showing a little bit of a heavier uh, area of dust and then over the coast itself, you can see again much thicker looking batches of that Saharan dust, which that is not helpful for a storm to develop. That helps kind of prevent it from developing that dry, that air and that sand. So that's something that also we notice this little stretch in here where we think this area of storms might develop into something tropical. The warmer temperatures, the lighter winds, along with the less sort of dust and sand that's in the atmosphere, all of that looking pretty interesting. 
like it could definitely develop. Now, what is to note, which is a little bit unusual overall, and I, I've shown this graphic at least once, is where we normally find areas to develop in June. And what you'll find that's interesting about this is it's not where we're seeing that development taking place right now. Typically, we were beginning to watch the western portions of the Gulf of Mexico. This is where we would sometimes see something develop in June. Again, I want to stress this is June we're talking about. How about the Western Caribbean? That's where we would normally see things develop. And then over into the Bahamas is where the other spot. So again, historically, this is our favorite areas. This is where we're watching a bit closely for development. And that is not what is happening with the, the, the situation. Now, s storms rolling off of the African coast and then getting into those warm waters, that's super common to happen, but it doesn't happen this time of the year. It starts happening in that traditional peak of hurricane season when we get into August and when we get into September. That's when we start seeing that kind of development normally happening when we see storms going off the, the west coast of Africa and then they get out to the Atlantic and then there's a long time as they cross the Atlantic that we could track them and can watch them. But again, not what happening right now. We're finding ourselves in the middle of June, uh, not in anywhere near that peak. And this is that tr sort of pattern. So it's another one of those scenarios where our weather is just not really locked into those traditional patterns at the moment that we sometimes would expect to see things happening. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's again some explanation for that, sometimes not so much great explanation for that. We do know that our next named system will be Brett. So what's happening out there right now, I'm not for sure it would develop all the way into a tropical storm. It might just be a tropical depression, but I do think it's probably going to develop into a cyclone of some kind. But if it does reach that strength where it would be named, uh, that would be Brett is next on the list. Thanks again. Glad you're here finding us on YouTube. Uh, my social media is at John Dawson Fox 26. That's going to be Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. But on YouTube, it's a lot easier if you just search meteorologist John Dawson. The hurricane gear test segments where I talk about things that would be great for your hurricane kits. All of those are on YouTube. Uh, also, you can find that on Instagram. So again, I'd love it if you want to follow me uh, at John Dawson Fox 26, but also here on YouTube. If you want to search for meteorologist John Dawson, that would be great for you to subscribe there as well. And we'll be back again tomorrow about this same time, a little bit after 4 p.m. for another update on the tropics.